Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video to show you how to change the logic board or the motherboard in the Motorola Moto X. I'll include links in the video description for any parts that I'm going to be using during this procedure or any tools that I'm going to be using to work on this phone. Anything that I think might be helpful to you, I'll include links in the video description, so check them out there. So first of all, what I've found to remove the back is if you go ahead and eject the SIM card tray right here. You can either use a paper clip or something little to get in there if you have a SIM eject tool like I did. That works great. And then what we're going to want to do is we're just going to want to start some wires. Now what I would recommend probably is starting right here by the bottom charging port. And if you pry up just a little bit, just push up a little bit, and I'm just using a little plastic pry tool like this. And what you can do is just start working this around. Now this back cover is kind of old, so it has a few cracks in it along the way. As you can see like there, now if you encounter this with yours, what I would do is just start right up here with the SIM card. The thing is just keep working up, because these things tend to crack if they get any age to them. Then I would just say just keep working your way around. And in the event that you happen to push down on some of the other sides to get this all loose, then just go ahead and reprime again. Sometimes it's hard to hang onto the phone and get it without popping the things back in. So now we just keep working around and as we get close here these back covers can flex quite a bit. What I would recommend is using like a plastic pry tool. You can just pry, don't go in too far, just carefully pry up. Just keep working your way all the way around. It has adhesive under it. Then if you just, you just keep prying up under here the adhesive lets loose and then don't pry too far you have to watch on this side right here, there's this connector right here. What you can do is just pop up on this connector and then wiggle that out of there. I'm not going to use the tweezers here for the sake of seeing it for the video. But what you need to do is just pull straight back on that little connector. That's the connector for the flash and then it pops off just like that. So next what you need is a torque size T4 and remove 11 screws. There's four here, a couple here, and then some more up top here. Go ahead and remove all those screws. Now I've heard different people say use a Torx T5, but my T5 is too big for this, so it has to be the T4. So it depends, maybe some models use T4, some use T5, so I would recommend having a T4 and T5 size just in case. So next after you've removed all the screws, what you're going to want to do, just grab this little piece out of here, get that out of the way, and then we're going to want to pry up with something right here, and you can just start somewhere the corner here and it just kind of unclips. It's this plastic part here and the whole part comes off like that. And then what we're going to want to do is unclip this one here and it comes off pretty easy as well. So next what we're going to want to do is remove the connectors and I'm going to be using a plastic pry tool. You can even use your fingernails if you don't have one. I would recommend using something that's non-metallic for this. So let's just go ahead and remove the front camera right here. And it just pops off like that. And then we can go ahead and remove this connector right here for the earpiece speaker. We'll just leave that in here. And then we're going to want to remove this connector right here, which you can do by prying up on the back part of this white part. And then this slides out just like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to remove this whole board right here. And I would recommend just getting under like this corner right here and just slowly work your way around and it just pops loose but we're gonna not go too too much at a time here and then what we're gonna want to do is if we tip this up like this there's a connector under here and as you can see it's right here it's this flex cable right here well there's this black part right here that we need to flip up for this I'm gonna use something like a tweezers or something so I can get the black part to flip up so as soon as that black part flips up, this connector released. And then what we can do is just take that apart. And that way it's two pieces. Now this, this all stays together as one assembly and you can just remove that whole part like that. So next what you need to do is grab your logic board and make sure that this connector here is straight up, the black part of the connector, so it's open. And then what we're going to need to do is we're going to grab this connector here and we're going to kind of bend it so it's like this if it's bent at all. 
from being in there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have to get this connector connected right here. It's gonna be pretty hard to show you, but I just wanted to show you what you need to do is you need to get it in there pretty much to that white line and then you need to reconnect the black part there and I'll show you that. So let's go ahead and connect this connector. So what I wanted to show you was now what it, this looks like with the connector reconnected. You can't even hardly see that white line there, but what you may end up having to do is reconnect this once you get it in, reconnect it reaching in here with the plastic pry tool or something and reconnecting this black part there like that. Go ahead and let's set this down. Now I'm gonna use the tweezers here so it's easier to see, but you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this is out of the way and make sure that the earpiece speaker connector here is up out of the way. And then what we can do is just go ahead and set everything down like that. And then before we forget it, we wanna go ahead and put our front camera back in here. You can just set it down, go ahead and reconnect it. And then what we're going to do is reconnect this earpiece speaker right away. Make sure that's reconnected. And then we want to go ahead and reconnect this. Now you want to flip up this white part again on this connector right here. And you want to slide this connector in. And it has the white line on it as well to show you pretty much approximately where it needs to go. Once you get it in there, we get this all the way in and then we can go ahead and press down on this white part here and connect that. Then what we can do is grab this part, set it right down on there. Have it connect right in there. And grab this part, set it right down in there. And then we're going to grab this part here and we're going to set that right down in there. And go ahead and put all your screws back in, all in the right order the way that you took them out. So lastly, to put the back cover back on, what we're going to need to do is this little connector here for the flash. We're going to need to reconnect it right here on this one here, the lower one. And then we're going to need to put that connector down. And then we just grab the part, the back, go ahead and set it down and make sure it's connected all the way around. Make sure it's setting down good and you're all set. Thanks for watching.